Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Expeditions Room. Where last time we left off, we had returned to camp. We've done quite a bit of stuff here, actually. Uh, we have started crafting some items. We have uh, had a quest there, which we well, we, we were allowed to sell our slaves, but I decided not to because it wasn't worth it. Um, we also spoke to the prisoner, Cassius, Claudius, Ca something with a C, I'm pretty sure. Um, now, we have a couple of things to do. First of all, um, we have to pass the time for Calda's new armor to be finished in uh, five hours from now, so we can just sit outside and wait for five hours if we wanted to. Still got to purchase the wine, which I think was two grand or something, so that's not going to happen for a while. Um, we had a, for our main quest, or one of our main quests anyway, return to Prima Italica's camp and tell Lucullus what I've learned, which is all the way, I think, back on Lesbos. Uh, and then we have to still uh, just keep conquering uh, Asia Minor, so we have to establish a foothold, one more sector pacified, and then that, I guess, means we conquer it, or maybe we have to get rid of the army, I'm not sure. Either way, everything we have to do is outside, so let us get Zufak out of here! The bass once again have an exclamation point above it. I wonder if I'm missing something there. It keeps telling me there's something to do there, but... I simply don't know what. Right, so, before I really do anything um, going all the way... But yeah, it is all the way over there. Fuck, you know. Let me press V first of all, so I have all the icons. Um, I think before we do that, I actually want to check out... I want to go to the right, because there's a milestone here which experience. There's an item there. And I'm guessing, unless this is the edge of the map, which it does look like this is the edge of the map, to be honest. Um, yeah, it looks like there might be more stuff to do, but I, I don't know. Um, because there's no observatory here. I'm just thinking, because the, the, our current our army is doing currently nothing, so I could make it do the hunting grounds here. I don't know if they would actually go set up in... No, I'd have to take this again garrison this outpost. Yeah, this is ours, so we don't have to fight for it or anything. I guess we could go here and then go there from there. There's nothing else to do here, is there? So, I don't see any reason to stay here. So I think I will actually uh, do that. Go back to Visea, because it's more centrally located. And then I'll... And assuming there's not anything else here to do, but we can always just uh, uh, turn back... Well, not, uh, turn the army around, but yeah, we're not discovering anything. I'm assuming that is actually just it. There's nothing else here. Ooh, print caps equipment. Cool. Uh, right, the time has been passed, so it is time for us... Where's our army? Oh, it's right here, yeah, to uh, head here as well. We're going to go into our camp, and then I'll send my army to go do this now, hunting grounds. It's just for a little bit of food, but... And then after that, we're going to go conquer another region. Uh, but we're going to go to Messia. We have everything around here done. Right here, this Plumata is done as well. The party's riding through another of these poor yet idyllic villages that dot every part of the landscape of Asia Minor. Asia Minor. Just as you're turning into a path, snaking out of the village and a wave into the mountains, an older couple respectfully wait for you to stop. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I... I might forget to edit that sneeze out, because I didn't sneeze into the mic, so it's not going to show up as very high. Um, anyway, if I don't edit it out, apologies. In a low voice, they introduce themselves as locals loyal to Rome. They are trying to be discreet because most of their fellow villagers are on the side of the Mithridates in this war. From the neighbors, the couple has learned that an army raised from locals by one of Mithridates' generals is marching to attack Messiah, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, from what you are told, you surmise that the army is already underway and will reach the destination within a day's time. Fuck. You have little opportunity to prepare, but perhaps you can find a way to slow them down. To pay them 200 denarii to spread fear and hostility towards the enemy army, reducing the morale, or assign a Praetorian to round up some legionarii and harass the enemy with hit and run tactics all the way to their destination, slowing them down. Um. Yeah. Let's, uh. Let's use. You go disrupt them. Minacius Fulvius Vitalis discusses the plan of you in great detail before he mounts up and sets off down a dusty path in the direction of the nearest scout outpost to recruit some of the help, some help for the dangerous task you've entrusted him with. Messiah is already well defended by the Legion garrison there. Not really. Hopefully, your preparations will help your Legionary maintain control of the region. Our army was just sent away. 
question is, how far along are they? They're right there. Um, is the attack on the map? No. Oh, markets are about to be refreshed again. I think I'm not going to send them back, because this doesn't take any time. Once they get there, it's immediately done, then they start running back again. So, I think... Let's just keep going. And hope they make it back in time. If not, we'll have to fight it, I guess. Right. Um, it's still not on the map. What's this, though? Praetorian Returns. Okay. Alright, a couple of our items are back as well, which is nice. Very nice. Um, and then I guess we'll leave our army there. It doesn't have anything to do right now anyway, except for expand into a new territory. So, I guess we're gonna go off west now. Got some new water. Nice. Uh, right, so our quest. Collect Kalos improved armor from the armory chest. Oh, right, so that everything gets put in this chest again as well. Oh god, okay. Um... This is... Okay, we got two armor on that, so that, that might actually be good. The helmet, no, I don't think that's good enough because it's not one, hel uh, one health on it. This might be good. 83% maximum focus maximum, what does that mean? And a scout Hamata. I don't know if that's worth it either, but hey, yeah. take it all. Boom! Experience, boy! Uh, right, so that's that quest done. We have... Level ups? No, inventory, right. Right. Uh, oh yeah, we need to learn this too. Cool, so, your stuff. Is this better? Right, so we lose an armor, we gain one maximum resistance, and a couple, or a little bit of bludgeoning resistance. Taunt a random enemy when you inflict a critical hit, force them to attack you on their next turn. So if I do a critical hit, I force someone, I taunt someone. Is that good? Ugh, I don't know. I think honestly one armor is just better. This might be better. Um, oh yeah, it certainly is. Okay, so the armor stays the same. But then it adds 28%... Sorry, 28% shield strength. Which might increase it by one. But if we have a better shield, it will increase it by more. Um, and we give get plus one percent slashing resistance and of course the indomitable status effects which prevents all morale loss but we already have that from me uh, my ability the, I think it's a passive ability isn't it yeah, bolstering presence so cannot fill morale checks or well that's is that the same cannot fill morale checks or prevents morale loss so he just does sort of doesn't lose any morale but I'm not sure if morale does anything other than you know taking checks and then having your routes definitely use that that looks cool Together, that does look pretty baller, but the helmet's just... Well, losing an armor for it is just not worth it. Um, and then we have... I will keep it, though. I don't think I'm going to sell it, because I might be able to improve it or something. Then we have your armor, which uh, I lose... Nope. Well, yeah, I do lose a health, but I gain 37% health, so that seems pretty good. Uh, I lose a minus... So, yeah, I, she can lo move one space less, but that's worth the extra health I, I get from it, I think. And whenever you use a weapon skill with charges, it has a 50% chance to be refunded. That's pretty good, because she does, does use quite a few of those. And this probably looks, yeah, way better than what she had. So, I'll take that. So, it goes 25 health from... What were we at? 19. So, the, yeah, the plus one gets us to 19. This just sort of gives us 25. That's definitely worth it. Cool. And then we were making a hat for you... But I guess we didn't finish that yet. Did I not have... I thought I made four new items. I just picked up four items. No, I could have sworn I picked up four items. So that was her chest piece. His helmet and chest piece. Oh, right, yes. The Bestia armor. That's it. I was going to say. Surely there was something else. We don't lose any armor. We do lose a movement. It's a bit eh. But we gain 83% focus maximum. So I'm guessing instead of five, he's going to be up to nine or something. Uh, gains 3% resistances, 5% slashing resistance, and if your attack kills the target, half of the focus spent on the attack is refunded. Which, again, I'm pretty sure only works for that one ability we have right now, Shiv. And then I guess we get 1.5 focus back, so whether that rounds up or down, I don't know. That's the only attack we have that costs focus. 100% um, critical chance for the next attack by this character. You know what, I should probably pick that up. That's pretty darn good, actually. And I'm guessing there's more, yeah, like sneak attack right here. I should probably pick up all those things. That's pretty good. Um, 
Oh yeah, and he starts with more as well. So this actually becomes really good for him because if he has a, if he has nine total focus, I could just sort of start with nine focus. If I max this out, that's pretty baller. Uh, either way, yeah, that armor is way better than what he currently has. So boom, and he looks fantastic as well in comparison. Cool, sweet. That seems pretty sweet. Do I have anything else? I'm still well. What else am I still making? Uh, just a hood and then a bunch of items. Okay, we got new equipment. This heavy, heavy Lorca segmentata, a Lancea, a Princeps helmet. Ooh, so that might actually be good if it has one armor on it. Um, is this a medium? It's a strong helmet, so yeah, only what's his face could use that. It's not super expensive to make this. I might f shove this in here. Could actually be good. If we get if we get another random plus one armor on it, it might actually be better than what he has. Otherwise, it might be the same. Well, we also have to roll high on the on that one, but and the upgrades. What was this a thing again? Uh, I can't do this because forge required. Yes, that's what it was. So if I go into this screen, how do I get a forge? Oh man, that's quite a ways away. Okay. I'm, oh wow. So the tier two, and then I can up, unlock tier three items. Um, if I upgrade it. Stratagem upgrades. Okay. Oh, I need to get the fucking foundry to get... Okay, wow, that's pretty crazy. Cool. Um, right, so that's that. I... Yes, what's-his-face should be finally done here as Ooh, well. Quiet. Ooh, quiet. Uh, oh, he's in it again. But, but he, he improved the morale, right? Is there any way for me to check the morale without check, talking to that guy? I don't think there is actually. This is like party, maybe in here. Actually, actually. Set. Um. Never mind. No. All I see is my denari. I actually talked to the guy to see about morale, and then he doesn't even give me a, an actual number. He's like, oh, it "Could be better. Could be worse." What are you up to? Why are you a question mark? Huh? Little bitch. Alright, um, I want to shove you in here now. Cancel any progress made, yeah, so we, we waste a little bit of time on that, but it's alright. Um, okay. And I could put some, so what is your thing from the bath again? What, what does that even, it's the, uh, the little social thingy magic. Let me take you out for a second so I can see. Uh, there you are. This Praetorian will increase the leaves of morale by four points every 32 hours while it's assigned to the path. Yeah, so that's that. Otherwise, it just leaves a Praetorian... Okay, so I leave a specific Praetorian to make... To up um, to get the appro approval up to a Palt, but no one is n negative with me right now, so that's completely irrelevant. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll shove you in here just to get more recruits again, because I want to recruit a couple more dudes, even though the, I'm completely fucking broke right now. Uh, oh yes, the, this stuff. I think I have some, perhaps, available, and otherwise I want to possibly buy Please some if I have me. the money. I don't have a lot of money, so... Let's see what I can do. But I might be able to pick some up anyway. Fear replenishes zero. But there was something that's... There's, uh, something was set there. Hold on, let me check my items right now. One out of three, zero. Okay, so I guess none of it, nothing has replenished yet. God, that sucks, dude. Uh, I am making some new things as well, though. Okay, so yeah, these ones... How much would this cost? 30 bucks to replenish. Per, or... Yeah, per each one. Oh, and it doesn't even, like... Oh, that takes a resource, too. I don't know what I just used, actually. But we only have one linen. I don't think I want to use that for a bandage right now. Um... Hold on, so what if I press zero? Zero. No, O, oh, you mean. Um... That is this one. Replenish your tactical items, upgrade to increase the number of refreshes per... Okay. Right, well, I don't know why I can't do it again. I guess because I don't have the material. No, because it's not even showing up. So why is the... Hmm. I'm confused. Oh, it is fully replenished. Okay, oh yeah, that's good then. So it does it does replenish it fully. That's pretty sweet. Free Pelum again, and we're making another Pelum, I believe. So, And the Pelum is really solid. Just give it a straight up a shield, or even finish... Oh, wait, Legate. Hello! Right, so I think I'm off to Prima Italica's camp now. See you later. 
Um, it's going to be a little bit of a journey, but our army is waiting to get attacked anyway. Once that's happened, we can send them out to capture another region, which I don't know what that will be. Looks like I could just go for Kizikos, but I mean, I shouldn't, right? Because that's where they have that massive army. We're on minus 12 morale, it does show me there. Uh, yeah, I don't dare send them out and do something like that now, though, since we're about to be attacked. I don't know when we're going to be attacked, but also the markets will be refreshed soon. Okay. Let's speed things along a little bit. Scout hood is available. Holy shit, nothing happening after that. Are we ever going to be attacked? I feel like this is just wasting time. It said we're going to be attacked the next day. I guess this is the next day. Time does pass fairly slowly, to be fair. Don't know why I keep thinking it's faster than it really is. And we delayed them too, so maybe I shouldn't have even delayed them. Maybe that's slow. That's like it, it, it sucks because I'm my army's doing nothing while that's happening. Oh, well, Julia's over here now. Also, who the fuck is all? Oh, my whole crew is in there. There's the arm. Oh, right, I can pick up shit from the army chest here too. Let's do that real quick. I want to have a look at the scout hood, see if that's better. Again, pretty sure I get one armor from her hood right now, so probably not. But I got all my other stuff too. Grants the low proof false status if you don't kill a character for one turn. Right, yeah, I think I did say that that was probably not going to be worth it, but hey, let's have a look. We lose, oh wow, four resistances. We lose a critical damage. We gain piercing resistance four, but we lose free, four resistance on everything else, so. Uh, and it grants a low profile. Eh. It probably looks cool. Yeah, it's just her old hood again, but it's just nowhere near as good, so nope. Uh, throwing knives. I feel like that's something Bestia would use, right? Throw knives up to three different targets, the knives ignore the target's armor. Um, yeah, sure. Doesn't mean you have a, as a torch as well, but the torch is currently unusable anyway, so. In fact, I should probably take out the items that have no charges left in them, just so I remember that I'm wasting my time. I could have sworn I had another item that had no charges. Uh, oh, right, yeah, that was the peeling, but we have refreshed those, so. Um, right, you're fine with those. We got peeling on you. I want to peel them on someone else, too. Whom would that be, though? Probably just stick to the main crew, since those are the people I'm usually bringing. Although, having said that, perhaps I should give some items to these guys, because I do have those missions sometimes where I can only send one of my main guys and then a bunch of randos. Although, to be fair, that was only one mission so far. So who knows how often that will come up. Um, Caltrops. Caltrops sound like they could be useful for her. Just, you know, to, if an enemy starts heading towards her. But, I mean, how often does that really happen? I feel like all these items are good on him, basically. I want them on my mainline dudes. I think I'll take the Pedum on him as well. Uh, and then I'll take the Caltrops on me, because Cinerus is already full. Or him. Uh, yeah, put them on him. Why not? Cool. Sounds good. Now... Go have a chat with Calibur, Julia. See if she's got anything new to say. What can I do for you? Nothing. Lady. I'm guessing you guys Dominate. don't either. I am here. Yes, you are. At your set. All right. Lucius. It is as I feared. We tell you Skyawilla is working with Mithridates. And no doubt his brother is part of this too. We must take action. How long since you've known about this? Since the beginning. We were working with your father to expose Witelia Skyawilla and his brother. Alas, they outsmarted us both. You calling my father a dumbass? Uh, why would a sentence to do this? Power is the most intoxicating wine. Unfortunately, it is also poisonous. It's been a long time since the Senate stood for the virtues of Rome. In a way, Skyawala and his brother are the embodiment of modern Rome. Skyawala married my sister to eliminate my father. To eliminate your whole family. Your father and I were getting close to uncovering this conspiracy against the very soul of Rome. Getting married to your sister after Marcus's untimely death made Witelia Skyawala your pater familias. A perfect play to get your family out of the picture. I gotta say, I wasn't aware this guy's my brother-in-law. Um, I don't know if this was known this whole time already, or if, <laughs> and I just didn't pay attention, 
or if this is just something that comes to light now, which apparently I should have... What? Well, yeah, I don't know. We will put an end to this. You should know that either Skywala or his brother Lorco killed your father. There is no other explanation. We were so close to getting the family declared infamous. I believe they must have felt cornered. In their desperation, they killed your father. That is why your mother sent you here. She understood you were in danger, too. Damn. I shall strangle the life out of Skyevola with my own hands. He must pay for all the crimes he's committed, and I shall be his personal executor. I owe you a lot, Lucullus. But the blood of my father should not be split, spilt in vain. I need to save my family, get them back from Skyevola. What do you think we should do? Yeah, let's do it. Let's sit down. We will avenge your father and save your family. All in good time. Skyewala is a villainous bastard, but he is neither stupid nor careless. Never forget, the enemy is most dangerous when he is nearly vanquished. We shall expose him in front of the Senate. How, Domine? We don't even know where he is. By winning this war, he will be in Rome. All of this he's doing to conquer it. He won't be able to stay away. What shall we do with Cassius? Kill him. I have no use for traitors. He's danger as long. He's a danger, as long as he's alive. Keep him alive until we're in Rome. He might prove useful. Yeah. Wise decision, Domine. There is another matter I would like to discuss. Let me know if you have a moment. Absolutely not. Whack the mole. Also, I I like that. Um, Bestia is just con like he Bestia is still indifferent towards me because I keep doing things that he doesn't like because he's like warmongering and shit. Actually, what is he exactly? He's honest. Oh, he's honest. Okay, that's good. So I, I guess that's why he's not dropping down all the way. Arrogant and he is indeed warmongering. Um, and then Cineros is conciliatory, which is why he keeps liking me because I keep choosing those options. He's also sexist, which I don't like, but yeah, there's not much I can do about it. Which, by the way, does that mean he doesn't like Julia? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I do have a moment, actually. Mm. You've taken to command as quickly as I had hoped. I grew up hearing about your exploits from my father, in a way I've learned from you. It's all about choosing the right people. I delegate most of the work to my... <laughs> I don't do anything, really. Luck has followed me so far, but it only takes one mistake to end it. No, I grew up hearing about you. It is a useful thing to study the masters of the past. As long as you're able to build on their lessons. I've been observing your legion closely, and I've noticed something that may be of great value to you. I'm always eager to learn more from you. Patrone. Observing a battle from afar is not the same thing as being in the thick of it, and I'm always eager to learn. The cavalry of Mithridates is very heavily armored. Your own Equitus has had trouble with them, but I believe we can turn this into a decisive advantage. Try this. Order your Equitus to turn and ride away, Make it look like they are routed. Mithridates' cataphracts will not be able to resist giving chase. You're proposing a ruse. Removing the enemy cavalry from battle would be a boon, but if my own cavalry is gone as well, I won't be able to exploit their absence. You're, going, you're proposing a ruse. The climate in these lands is very hot. It's stifling. And more so to men and horses in heavy armor. Once the enemy heavy cavalry is exhausted from chasing your equities through the heat, your men will turn and cut them apart. Right, I just now understood the the stratagem thing. So that's happening in, in the workshop, I think, which I haven't unlocked yet. But that's where I learn new cards, I guess, that I can use in battle. Uh, how can we be sure that the enemy cavalry will fall for it? Use the climb against my enemy? That's a brilliant idea. It is likely to only work once. Word will spread of what you've done, and they will not fall for it again. Save this ruse for a moment of great need. That makes sense. What was that other matter you wished to discuss? Regaining control of Asia Minor is important, of course. But our primary objective is ensuring the safety of Carter. There may be a way of saving ah. him without combat. Julia. I have arranged a meeting with Mithridates' makers. Everyone wants something. Let us see what our enemy wants. And what we can get in exchange for it. It's like you started talking louder because I said, like, ah, Julia. Uh, pardon me for saying the obvious, but isn't that what a profoundly dangerous idea? Of course it is. But is it more dangerous than anything you've done so far? We Romans tend to think of foreigners as uncivilized. 
but dismissing Mithridates as just another barbarian would be another way of underestimating the king of Pontus. Carter paid dearly for that mistake. Besides, I have taken all the necessary precautions. Lamedontas will guarantee us Ah, Lamedontas, of course. Do we intend to surrender? Obviously not. We intend to negotiate with our foe in order to improve our mutual positions. Why does that sound like surrender to you? Why would we want to improve our enemy's position? Not when you put it that way. Don't worry. You'll understand these things in time. I am a little bit dumb. I thought our primary objective was defeating him. It still is. But conquering a fortress and saving a hostage from said fortress are two tasks of vastly different complexity. Simply put, our task would be much more straightforward without the need to worry about Cotter's safety. Where exactly will this meeting take place? In the same fishing village in Troas, where you found Cassius. Lamedontus agreed to mediate. We will meet at his villa and have an opportunity to taste his food. Food? What if it's poisoned? Lamedontus doesn't he serve Mifredatis. He serves his own people. Lamedontus is a wealthy man from a family who has always held great power in that region. There's a fragile political balance in Troas. It is in Lamedontus' best interest to keep everyone alive. The demise of either party means he will die too. I wonder if it's in the house that we didn't go into in the end because they wouldn't let me fight. <laughs> what do you need me to do? You must learn about the art of negotiation. I think you should accompany me and take part in our conversation with Mithridates. Not to mention the great opportunity this represents for us. We could assassinate him. We could, but we absolutely should not. No one will bear any arms in the villa. And when it comes to poison, well... Everyone knows Mithridates cannot be poisoned. As I said, we will just be there to negotiate. Did he pick up the immunity to poison trait? Is that what's going on? Uh, what are we waiting for? Let us go. Lamedontis has a villa in Troas. We shall meet there. You will arrive unarmed. And on time. You should take this flask anyway. You never know when you will need poison. Give it here. You will not regret this. All right. Do I actually have to be there at a certain time? Buculus has arranged a meeting with Mithridates in Troas, which is more or less neutral ground, hosted by a wealthy local landowner by the name. Oh, it is that house! <laughs> so I wonder, if I had gone for the battle, what would have happened? Would I have killed all the guards already? By the name of Laomedontas, Luculus hopes to strike a deal with the enemy king for the release of his co consul Marcus Cotta. Meet Mithridates and Luculus in the villa of Laomedontas La and Troas. These are. This, this sentence is a ridiculous concoction of words. Um, right. Cool. Well, other than that, do I have anything else to talk to you about? Shall we, son? No. At your service. All right, I'm guessing you guys haven't got anything else news to say either. So, I say, let us conquer a new region before we do this. I mean, we can do the quest anyway, but I'll send my army to go conquer. No, we're still waiting for the fucking battle. So annoying. So very annoying. I wonder what would happen if I let them say I get conquered. We already own everything in the region anyway. I guess it would get conquered by them again. But then I've already used this for upgrades, so how does that work? No idea. Yeah, still waiting for the attack. Still not on the list, so... Boy. Um, I guess, yeah, I, I should go ahead and do that then. Because I can't really do anything else anyway. Let's go. One constant throughout your journey in Asia Minor seems to be the roadside merchant. I'm pretty sure we're still at the sea, but... To the people of this land, the world is a marketplace and everyone is a customer. Today, someone seems to be selling a strange wine. Might be worth trying. Spend 80 denarii on wine for your Praetorians and drink it. This is poison. You're in this land on serious business, to the best of your ability, you try to make the fact clear to your Praetorians. Ah, oh, shit. Most of them seem to agree. Still, some of them put forth the view that a little wine never hurt anyone, unless it was poisoned. I don't trust anyone. Ah, there, the final, the fucking battle's finally coming. Let's see, go. I want all my best people on the job. Alright. Let's go, boys. Boy. Oh, 
Victorians may leave your party if your approval drops too low. Good to know. Okay, but well, what's this? Watch this then, hey? Inventory. Hemlock, right. Some poison we have in case we want it. Good. Um, right, so we're going up there. I think that's all we have to do here, really, right now. So let's go ahead and do it. Oof. Oof. Big stuff. Alright, let's put on a quick save too. Hello, I'm here for the meeting. I we was meet allowed... again. Go right in. Everyone is waiting for you. Yeah, we do meet in, in, again indeed. Oh, he's coming in from this side. Cool. Very cool. Oh, this building is different than I thought. Hey, that woman is indeed there. And the guy who I saw is there as well. Oh, and that's, that's what's his face, I'm guessing. Oh shit, my dudes aren't coming with me. Hello. Welcome and well met. I believe I do not need to remind you of our agreement about the nature of this meeting. Of course not. I am well aware of the nature of your arrangement. Delightful. Settle down then. And just to make it clear, you both agreed to not bear arms inside my villa. He's got a sword. I got this a rule is meant to discourage combat. Combat in this case includes, but is not limited to, hand-to-hand -to -hand engagements. Refreshments will be served in a moment. Enjoy yourselves, and please, try to refrain from killing each other. If this is meant to intimidate me, I have to admit, Lucullus, you have done better than anyone else before you. I'm afraid I do not know what you're referring to. Uh, we've met before. You have? I see. My compliments. We've met in the middle of my own war camp, where your companion was posing as one of my soldiers. Be careful, Lucullus. This one's quite skilled in spycraft. I will keep it in mind. Very well. Let us start. Tell me how I can help you. First of all, Mithridates Megas, I am pleased that you came to meet me. There's a certain individual you've been keeping as a... guest. It would make me happy to see him reunited with his family. I'm sure that would make you happy and place you in a significantly better strategic position. Uh, forgive me for being selfish in this case, but you should know that his release would certainly not make me happy. And I'm mostly concerned with my own happiness. Besides, I'm quite fond of my new friend, Kota. Why would I let him go? He's a valuable guest. Certainly, you don't expect me to roll over and give him up to you. Not at all. But my intention here is not to bring about your defeat. I highly doubt that. My intention is making sure we both win. Over the course of this war, we have captured nearly a thousand of your soldiers, which are held in my camp as prisoners. I have no interest in feeding your men. We would both be best served by an exchange of hostages. One man for the lives of a thousand. I'd call that a fair trade, would you not? An interesting proposal. But Cotter is of immense strategic value to me. In order to make this trade, I would need to see my strategic position improved. I'm sure I can be persuaded into parting with your co-consul in exchange for, say, your departure from Asia Minor with all your legions. I doubt you'd agree to that. Hmm. Don't think so. What about Archelaus? Surely bolstering your ranks by nearly a thousand soldiers would improve your strategic position. Yeah, he's not, he's not gonna say yes to that, but let's try it. More soldiers can always be levied. Why would I care about a mere thousand? It seems we are at a momentary impasse. Order us some wine, please. And we will see if we can work through this. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking... What, am I just... Am I a fucking errand boy? Oi, guy. Don't you worry. I have already prepared the best wine for my guests. We did not spare any expense. I'm not actually going to poison them anyway, but if I had this option with Paphos, maybe I would have. Uh, slip this into 
with Raditis' wine I have had it, especially imported from a Pontic merchant. They say it's his personal favorite of his. He will surely regard you with highly if you serve wine flavored with it. He wouldn't... I mean, how the fuck would he, anyone fall for that? I could slip it in myself, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, good. Give the drinks to me, I'll check them for poison. How dare you accuse me like that! Check the drinks all you want. I'm not a murderer. Well, maybe not you, but Go maybe now. someone of your... I shall bring your drinks. One of your households could potentially, could potentially be bought. Oh, everyone's with me now. Oh, never mind. Ah, good wine. Refreshes the mind indeed. These Asian wines are rather dry. I prefer those they make in Africa. To each their own. Thank you. I'll for make saying you to one each final own. offer. And not each I have no own. interest in handing over Cotter. But since you have shown goodwill, I may be willing to release 200 of your legionari in exchange for the release of 400 of mine. I have heard your people boast that each of your legionari is worth two of my soldiers. So this should be a fair trade. I was gonna say, is he insulting himself by saying his soldiers are worse? But yeah, no, he's actually just... He's spun it around a little bit. Um, a man is worth much more than his value in war. Each man has a value as a husband, a farmer, a citizen. Though indeed a Roman legionaries is easily worth two of your soldiers in battle. One man is ultimately worth as much as any other man. Oof. It's good logos right there. It's obvious what you're trying to do. You have nearly an entire cohort of legionary captured. We should get them all in exchange for your 400. We're here to get caught out or nothing at all. Ah, uh, we'll do, uh... You logos. speak as well as any Greek philosopher I have ever met. And your argument is strong. I will release 350. If you accept the argument my legatus has put forth, you must release a full cohort. Yeah. Fine, fine. A full cohort, then. We have a deal. I am not in the mood to eat any longer. Stay and enjoy our host's hospitality, if you'd nice. like. Next time we meet, it will be on the battlefield. That was some masterful negotiation. Well done. Go on, I'll stay here a little longer. I have some things I wish to discuss with our host. And some local delicacies I'd like to taste. Cool. New emblem a lot. Nice. So we didn't get Kota, whatever his name was, but I guess we did about as well as we could have done anyway. Um, right, so now we still just have the mission to uh, purchase the wine and then capture more stuff. So I guess that's what we're going to have to do after the battle. Let me talk to this guy, though. Hmm? What can I do for you? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Lao Mendondas. Oh my god. I'm a landowner, farmer, and merchant. It's quite the villa. You must make a fine living. I'm certainly not complaining. I am well liked in Troas. People know me as someone who invests in the community and guides us towards prosperity. Oh, they disappeared. I was hoping we could follow them all the way down, but they just sort of disappeared right there. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? People all know me, is so, okay. What can you tell me about the village? There is little to tell. We are an idyllic, quiet community of fishermen and farmers. Our market is small, but it serves a large area. You said you're a merchant, what do you sell? Produce, and well, many fish. My business is preservation of fish through smoking and salting, and distribution to our neighboring towns. Thank you for your time, telling me how to be a businessman. Alright, good shit. On me. Let's get the fuck out of here. There's one thing we can do in this town, let's buy the wine, but we again need like... Is it a thousand or two thousand? I can't remember. Let me have a look. Uh, here. Directly let's chat her up. Okay, Nectarios, the guy who I almost picked a fight with for no reason. Hello again. Glad to see you back. I thought you might be tempted. Two thousand. My original price is Oh no, we can do thirteen hundred, right? As you wish. Yeah, is so there something else I don't I can know. Help I don't know why with? we'd be buying it, by the way. But yeah, thirteen hundred bucks for that. It's not what I usually. Say. Please, I have some. Please. Yeah, we, we have so little money. I can't afford anything. I probably wouldn't buy any of those things anyway. But I was kind of to see how what they were. Thirteen hundred denarii for that bottle of wine. Get me the fuck out of here already. Right, so now, what are we What are we doing? We have nothing to do. Currently. Unless, can I, like, go there? Oh, I can as well. Okay, I mean, that 
probably is the best thing I could do, to be honest. Unless I'm going to go over here and see if there's anything to discover here. Which I think that makes more sense, because I think this is the next place I'm going to conquer, to be honest. We're waiting for the army. Uh, and once we've dealt with that, we're going to... Uh, let me see. My, le my legion is at 3,621 men strong. That's nice. That's nice. Um, I could do this as well. What's the legion mission? I got money... Quarry, Iron Mine, Tannery. I don't really know or care about what I need currently. Enemy armor strength... For, okay, this is actually 3,100 people. We can't take Tross because, of course, the people from before routed there. It still says we only need 1,200 men minimum, but... I don't think we could do it with uh, even... Well, what we have right now it wouldn't be a pretty fight. Either way, yeah, we're going to head this way. I think I might just leave on triple speed from now on, to be honest. Hunting grounds, there's an observatory as well. The man with scrolls, Asia Minor, is home to all sorts of weird characters. Today, an angry man riding an old donkey, an Asanus, crosses your path. The poor animal is barely able to carry its own weight, let alone the numerous scrolls on its back. Because scrolls are, as we all know, incredibly heavy. Strike up a conversation with the man. As it turns out, these books are meant for the acad academia, a kind of school where students learn about all sorts of different subjects. So, a school then. The man requests your help reluctantly. He explains that he was recently ambushed and his escort is dead. A bunch of his valuable scrolls are already stolen. He fears for his life and thinks he won't be able to make it to the ac academia. Kill him! <laughs> Why would I do that? Alright, I'll send the man as an escort. Uh, Triarius. Makes sense. No. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. But yeah. Who do I care about least? Probably him. Good luck. Taking pity on the man, he assigned Rebellia, Re Rebellus, Re Re Rebellus, Rebellus, to escort him until he reaches the Academia. The grateful courier gives you a valuable scroll as thanks. Oh shit, what did I get? Add penetrating damage 1. Oh, right, I never even really thought about this, but this is how I learn more affixes, so I can choose if I want to change an affix on something. Now I know how to add 1 penetration damage. My favorite kind of damage. I somehow missed this earlier. That might have actually been some useful stuff to make, but anyway. To the observatory. Nothing discovered. Oh, we were literally in range of that. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. I do need water at some point, but not right now. This is the edge of the map, so there's nothing else there. So I think okay, I'm someone's leveled up. Who? Who would be so crazy as to level up without my permission? Uh, anyone else? Yes, Lucius Arenas, but he's currently absent. Signed to the barracks. Absent. You're the one I sent away. These guys are all doing stuff. Alright, cool. Um, well, I already have all that, so I need to put a point in something here in order to unlock the next stuff. I think I'll pick up point blank anyway, to be honest. Maybe I should pick up Rebuke. Rebuke. I wonder if I need to max this out in order to get this. I don't know. No, it looks like I can just pick it up. Okay, cool. Now we can kick people. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, and then, yeah, we can level up Lucius Vrinus, but he's currently unavailable for leveling. Alright, so the army should be attacking us soon. Boop, boop, boogie And a hasta. But I don't think either one of those weapons is something we want. What is that? That's a city right there. Okay. I think we've once again discovered everything there is to discover. So, yeah. Oh, does, is that the army that's on the way? I can actually see it. I can see it. Oh, oh, God, do I just go up here to discover more shit? Like, what else am I supposed to do? Right now. Um... I mean, yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, what, what what, do I do, personally? And we literally just don't have anything that... Let's see if those weapons are any good. Oh, let's dismantle them. Most of the stuff, too, but we'll hold off for now. This armor is barely better. Oh, yeah, just give me one armor, but I lose, like, seven health, so... Probably worth it in this case. Uh, anyway... Yeah, I think we're just going to go out and discover shit, because there's just really very little we can do right now. Right. 
resolve the battle. Only got one person. We're gonna get some good loot from this again. Lucius Cornelius Balbus. How do you wish to deploy? Probably should put some more people as uh, centurions in case this guy gets wounded or something. This is very far in my favor because we actually have a pretty strong strength now. Uh, weak center, manipul channels. Immediately getting my own guys wounded seems a little unnecessary. Let's go for a good old weak center. Again. Alicite hostis in informata mamitium acian. Yeah, ready to engage the enemy? Oh, look at this gambit. Oh my god. <laughs> Kills minus 23. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. Okay, so we can only use this once though. Um, so we don't want to use that right now. Don't want to accidentally use that or click it. Um, that's pretty crazy though. Yeah, one use is left. It actually says it there too. Okay, so that's good to know. We can, we can just randomly use that one to murder an entire army when we're up against the big boy. Um, throw Pila, probably. Alright, we've reached the fresh the even though we have an action. No, not their tactical reserves. This is, uh, my, it says minus 240 to 80, but here I lose 100, exactly. But here I only lose 53. This would also kill some of my dudes, also kill some of theirs, which isn't super necessary. I think I'm gonna go for, ooh, 30% risk for my Contorionis though. But he's gonna die. Oh shit, if he dies, that'd be pretty rough. I don't know if it's worth getting a bunch of men back. Wait, does that even... It doesn't even do anything, this one. It doesn't actually get me anyone back at all. Now let's just go for Legion Morale. Wait, no, no, no. That loses me... 100 men and then 53. This one loses me some men. Actually, more here, but less here. This is so confusing. I don't understand this. Missing soldiers. Right. I think I understand the difference. Is that with this one, I have people that actually sort of die. With this one, it's they become missing, which means they just um they they're captured in battle, basically. Uh, anyway, I think we need some fucking morale at some point, so I'll take some losses to get my morale up a little bit. You've done it! The enemy is rooted! Rooted? Is that what you just fucking said? Did you say rooted? You idiot. Uh, this gets me men back, but if I look at Celebrate, look, 3,253, it goes up by 105. Ha I don't understand. What is... But this one makes this number go up and not this one. I just don't understand. What the fuck is the difference between these numbers? What is this active manpower? But then why is it three two five three here, but it's only three one two three? Zero? I don't under fucking stand. Anyway, I'll take the morale. Sinite milites exultare. Yes. Okay, we got a common loot cache. Two hundred seventy-one. Yes, please. Twelve slaves, forty rations, twenty denarii. Seems crazy that you get twenty denarii, but then twelve slaves, which are worth like. 1800 bucks or something. It's like, how the fuck does that add up? 40 rations, yeah, not bad either. Rations have not been an issue. In fact, we've, I think we've been purely going up this whole time in rations. Anyway, your army has dealt with that, so let's go take a place. So, do I just go take Kizikos? I feel like that's the, you know, that's the place we're, we're supposed to eventually take. It's actually the easiest one. It's got 1671. This one's got 1940. This one's got 3198. So, I honestly think that because it is the easiest one to take, but that's the whole that's the one where we have the whole fucking war going on. So we're probably not supposed to do that yet. I don't know. Let's just go take this one right here. Let's do it. Plus my army is right here as well. Or my Cantoriones. My Praetorians even, sorry. There's like the media. Which I was just gonna check. They have Oh, it doesn't say how much they have, right? Uh, oh god, yeah, I just didn't put anyone new in here yet. Which so. formation shall we use? Right. Let's go for cheeky extended line. Um, yeah, go for an extended line. Archeum Latius Extended Day! Extended Day, yes. Battle is joined. How should we proceed? Good old Pilafro. A charge. Cost me even more lives. 
Uh, this one doesn't actually seem to change the number at all. Oh, that's just that's the fence. Not actually. Yeah, never mind. Leisure morale, nope. I don't want to reduce our leisure morale too much. 1699, 1687. This one kills like 12 more guys, but I lose like 100 in return. So I feel like we're going to go for Fropila. Fropila! The enemy line is breaking! We're going to be able to get there. Hold the position. Damn, that's pretty crazy. Casualty survival rate is 70%. Uh, divide and conquer. We kill a bunch of dudes. Our loot range goes down, but it's probably not that relevant. This is the first time we've had this one. Cavalry charge, lower the enemy morale, but a higher chance to die, but we don't care about that. Um, this kills 100 dudes as well. This one kills less, so yeah, I guess cavalry charge. I guess the morale needs to be or something. I'm not quite gonna get there, but if I give chase, then we do. Which might be, for once, the right time to do it, because I don't want this army to run elsewhere. <clears throat> um, getting some men back would be great. We lose morale. We get a morale up to actually positive is pretty good as well. But yeah, let's give chase for once and actually break them. Fully destroyed. Good shit. Good job, Bulbus. What a man. The man in the legend. Oh, I didn't get fucking anything from that though. That's unfortunate. But we occupied the region. Cuckoo -cu Coolio. Uh, right, cool. Now we need to pacify this place. How are we going to go about that? We... Aren't? Do I have to... End the... No. Legion mission... Current... Yeah, it's not pacified yet. How do I fucking pacify it then? Hello? How do I pacify this place? Um... I should have a mission or something, right? Complete the pacification quest for the Praetorian to pacify it. Okay, uh, I, I'd love to. But but for how do I do this? I'm gonna go um, over here and grab the loot. And then I guess I'll head back. Ooh. Alchemist equipment. And I'll take this little chest right here too. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, maybe I should grab that one too. And then I will head back. Maybe we're supposed to do something in the town? Baby boars and their parents. Following some peculiar tracks, you come across a fairly well-hidden natural niche in the forest. From within, a number of young and defenseless boars stare helplessly at you. These piglets won't feed us for long. We should wait for their parents to return. Petronius. And then get gored on their tusks. I say we take the piglets and leave it at that. Let's hunt the younglings and be gone before the mature boars return. Wait for the mature ones to return. I say it's worth the risk of a few injuries. I don't think I care enough about any of this. Um, I I don't think it's worth taking. A... <sighs> See, the thing is, injuries are probably, probably not going to matter because we're not. It doesn't look like we're going to be in any battle anytime soon, so we could probably just heal whatever gets whoever gets wounded. Um, but I also it's not like I need some rations, but sure, let's just do it. You wait for the boars for a while, seems like they might never appear, but then when nothing, with nothing but a slight rustle of leaves to announce them, they charge at you with the fury of vengeful parents protecting their children. Holy shit, a severe wound. Treat the Praetorian or she will die. Calada as well, of course. Julia Calada is caught entirely by surprise when the animals charge. Her scream gut cuts through the forest as a boar's tusks rip into her stomach. You do manage to kill them after all, all after that, with no further injuries, but Calada will need immediate treatment. Well... Do that. Did we actually? What do we get for it, though? I don't even know. Critical. Oof. Critical must be treated in the Legion outpost. Oh, for fuck! I can't even. I guess I can stop the risk of it getting worse. But it's uh, yeah. She needs to be treated in the outpost. That's really annoying. See, that wasn't worth it at all. I did. I think I did gain some. But still, that's kind of annoying. Rebel, this is no longer absent. Yeah, I don't know how, how I'm supposed to pacify this place. There's no quest to pacify, unless I'm supposed to get the pacify quest from a dude, and then it's one of those missions where I actually bring a bunch of people. In which case, that could be fun. Because I want to... The best... Well, not the best part, but one of the best parts about the game is the whole fighting and stuff, and we're not doing any of that, which is a bit annoying. Uh, right, so first of all, let me go... there, and plop Julia in there for 102 hours. Whoop whoop. Still, though. 
seems <laughs> when your entire stomach is fucking gutted by a boar like Robert Baratheon, uh, then I feel like 102 hours of treatment is actually kind of okay. Uh, I want to go have a look at any new recruits we have, and perhaps recruit some. We have a little bit of cash. At your, at your service. Um, someone who's used to scavenging materials will never they can will decrease the time it takes to replenish tactical items by 20% when assigned to your tent. So yeah, he has two things for being assigned to the tent, so we want to assign him to the tent. We have Pesenius Polius Septimus, who's a medicus and a physician. Uh, oh, medic is just for battle. So the physician is for treating burn, infection, and poison. Uh, ooh, critical chance increase and quick lunge. It's just straight up a thing that you can use three times for battle. It doesn't cost anything. That's kind of cool. Um, there's only four people here, actually, I just realized. We're still missing a fucking infantry command, a specialization commander. And cavalry, by the way. We have artillery because he has both those things now. And he almost has infantry as well, to be fair. Um, but I just want to have someone in case I need another person quickly. Quickly now. To have death blow. Um, scouts, constitution, cavalry. I think we're going to take him, but mostly we'll put him in a tent. So we'll hire him as a Praetorian. But I want someone else. I guess we'll... Yeah, Cavalry's the only thing we're not going to get from him. So let's take him. Because he has Medicus at least. Um, and then we'll hire him as a Centurion. He's only level 4, unfortunately. But... Where should I get him? No. Yeah, we'll get him. Hire as a Centurion. Cool. This guy's going to go in the tent. Service. Do we have someone in the tent already? No, we don't. I guess that's... He stopped for some reason. Um, so that's you. 41 hours. You have some level ups available. Since people are no longer doing their thing. That is... Lucius Vrinus. You are pretty irrelevant. Because I'm not going to use you for combat. But just in case I do eventually need to use you for combat. Uh, yeah, let's get that. And then another one. Another one. Then we have... No one else. That's it for level ups, okay? So you should be in the barracks again to recruit more people or in the bath. I think I have enough people now, so let's shove them in the bath again to increase the morale again. Do I have another recruiter, perhaps, from these new people? Freeloader, sort of skilled procuring. Yeah, so but he's just better at that always, so Publius Considius can actually turn into something else. Architect. We haven't got the workshop yet. You're the crafty guy, so you should be in the armory, but I have nothing to do in the armory. So I have no... I should probably make some new shit if I can. Um, for each scout traveling with you... I should probably have the scouts with me, just even if I'm not using them in combat, just to have them uh, increase my speed. I have two of them right now. You don't really need anything else. You're not very good at anything here anyway, so you can stay with me. Um, okay, I think that's all. I have no one who's good at the barracks, except for Bestia, but I don't want to use Bestia for that. Okay, quests, pacification, talk to your, ah, there you go, talk to Primus Pupilus. Cool, uh, what else? There's Julia, you're supposed to be in your tent resting, what are you doing? I need to set up some crafting, that's what I was going to do, see if I have anything I want to craft. Let's see here. Uh, we can't make that. These are all the ra the unique items. I've already built all those. We've got a new shield. I do want a new shield for our main boy, actually, because his shield's a bit shit. Uh, did I not make... Uh, I did make a helmet at some point. I need to check if that's any good. I also want to actually look at him. Shield strength 4, but 6, yeah, because he had that upgrade. Although... Yeah, 28%. That increases it by 2. Nice. That's lucky. Pretty sure there's something in here. A helmet. Yes. One armor. Okay, that might be better than his helmet. No, it's not. Rip. Immediately shows me. Well, no, because it says minus 1 resistances, but I gain 5% bludgeoning, 6% piercing. Which 
probably is better overall and it looks cooler so that's a win-win I say a regular strong helmet I don't think oh I can use a strong helmet as well ask it Cineros do you want to use this it's uh, no uh, you guys can't what do I have by the way I have more resistances yeah don't want that any of you guys want a cheeky helmet nope you don't want it either you can't use it okay Julio Julio uh, I have a Oh, right, yeah, I need to replenish that torch still. Okay. Then, there's one more thing I want to do. How many... Not this. How many people do I have with me right now? I have one, two, three, four randos. Okay. Because... And I need to equip these randos as well, probably. Because I'm going to be going into... If I get a oh, mission wait. where I have to, have to actually go into combat, I need as many people with me as possible. And they actually need to be equipped somewhat. So let's equip the people we have here. Uh, that's just sort of an armor... Also, a helmet that's slightly better. This is where I feel sad that I removed a bunch of armor stuff. I want the Veles to have more armor if I don't have it already yet, though. Uh, that's slightly better, sure. We got a Triarius and two Sagittarius. This is... Oh, wow, that's a pretty sick bow you have there. Is that better than her bow? I can't see her equipment right now, but... Um, pretty sure her bow is not 8 to 11, though. That's pretty insane. Oh, that's... No, that is... The, I remember this bow. I remember this bow now. Uh, this other Sagittarius this only has a 7 to 8, and he doesn't have anything else. But it does, has, uh, for some reason it does more. I don't know why. It just has accuracy and critical damage. I'm not sure why it does more damage, but I'll take it. Um, so the Vettis already has armor Triarius. You have one armor, so you don't want this. So I think we're going to give this to this Sagittarius. Oh, God. Looks so terrible, dude. Um, this is just slightly better. Helmet's worse. Okay, I think that's about as best the best I can do. I got. I suppose this actually is not bad. Uh, yeah, we'll give that to you. No, you actually have an armor, so I'll give it to you. And then that's all I've got. I think. I guess you're offhand. I can give you a sword. In case I need it. Um, there you go. Cool. Right, so now we have a decent group together for a potential quest here. Uh, anything else I want to do? We can... Nope, I don't want to go into the tent. I think we're good. Let's go ch chat up. Was it you or the other guy? Let's find out. Legate. I am actually. No, it's the other guy. Also, the market's re uh, replenished. That's a look at that. So I have no money, but hey. Um. Still, a oh no, it's abundant now. But yeah, I don't. I don't need medicine. I have three hundred eleven now. It seems that that's the one thing so far. I'll say is that it seems pretty b poorly balanced, and that I don't seem to ever be going down on any of the resources. I seem to be going up and up despite having to buy any. The only thing I ran out of was slaves, but now I have fifty-two of them again. So. Sell them for 56 a pop, which does mean that deal from that guy earlier was actually better, but I'm not gonna sell him so. Alright, so anyway, nothing for me. I took these sandals off a local farmer. Oh, eh? Hey. He didn't want to sell at first. Okay. Uh, I have three. three free replenishes. Um. Should I just use them on all the things because I'm just gonna get new ones anyway right just told him yeah he's gonna get me more over I time. was taking him with his feet still oh, wait, inside I got him or not let's have a look at that Praetorian colors there's an exclamation point as if there's something new here but I have four of them already so I don't see what is new uh definitely have a new emblem here this one not negotiate negotiated the hostess exchange and throw us okay Kind of still like the one I have, to be honest. Kind of annoying. There's going to be an exclamation point next to it now the whole time. Uh, right, give me a quest, bro. I bring greetings from Atticus Rex, the supreme ruler of the newly established land of Harmonia. Uh, Salve to his royal highness, I guess. Rex? <laughs> so this Atticus thinks he's a king. Rex, if you're watching this, there you go. Indeed. I'm sure he will be happy about your positive reaction. 
Uh, I selected one. After all, it. he's no stranger. In fact, Atticus used to be one of our legionari. He left with a bunch of his closest friends and simply took ownership of a nearby village. Did you just say Harmonia? It's an odd name, isn't it? The king claims his will be a land without wars and conflicts. A land where everyone can live in peace and harmony. Hence the name. An interesting notion. Indeed it is. I believe he calls it Pax Romana. Ah. It's a bit too naive of an idea, if you ask me. Can he legally do that? Hmm. Our laws allow dominion over previously unpossessed items or land. Since Greeks are not Roman citizens, their possession of the land can be considered null and void. It's, getting, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, oh, they're not us, so it doesn't really matter what they say. Um, but... But we're not in Rome, and Jus Cavile is valid only in Rome, so I think the question is irrelevant. I can't see how this would hurt us. They do seem pathetic, but we can't allow this. It sets a dangerous precedent, not to mention the possibility of a rebellion in the region. This sounds very much like treason. <laughs> Two seconds earlier I said this is alright. Atticus needs to be punished. I agree. Executing him will send a message to any would-be future kings of Harmonia. Our way, Legate. Oh, straight up. Okay, that's it. Uh, right. Be well, you prick. So, our quests. Uh, pacification mountainside camp. Seek out the new kingdom of Harmonia and show them how Rome treats deserters. Yes! Okay, that sounds like we're gonna have another battle, which is good. So I have just now prepared for that, so... We'll have to bring one of our dudes, which might just be uh, Kaizo again, to be honest. He's he's strong, and also I wouldn't have a print caps if I didn't bring him. Uh, I guess I'll have a look at what we actually upgrade now, although this episode's once again turning into a very long one. We're going to have two Sagittariuses, so we're going to have no problem killing any fucking um, weaklings, especially because their bows do at least eight damage, so all the militia will be dead in one shot. Um, then we have a Velez, which has... I think we used him before. He was actually okay. Horatius Rufus. I think he may have been one of the... Yeah, he was the guy who was like, sort of carrying me through. He was the only one still remaining at the end of that battle when we did this last time. I think it was him anyway. Unless it was a different Velez, but... Um... Oh, he's, he's got Occam's Razor. Honestly, if I were to do this, I should probably give him... This sword before I jump in there, right? And also, like, any equipable stuff just to make it a little bit easier. It's kind of, That's why I don't really like those missions, because it, it makes you want to switch out all your gear before the battle, which always is one of those things where, that I don't really like in games when it, it's, like, such a gamey thing to do, but it, it's also the thing that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably have to give him all the good gear from Bestia. Uh, from Bestia. Then we have the Triarius who has the movement skill, and Cure he doesn't have the Warhorn, unfortunately, but... And then, of course, whoever I pick to go with, which I think, since we already have the movement speed, we don't need him. I don't want two Veles, I think. Especially if I'm going to give, you know, then the, the other guy's not as good, because I won't be able to give him all the gear. We have two Sagittariuses, so yeah, I think it's got to be Kaizo again. Plus, it kind of makes sense for him to beat that. If that's hey, even that kind of mission. This might just be a regular mission where I can't so bring I don't my whole army, but we will see. For now, though, I'm going to end this episode here. Another All is well, long one. The last, like, I think I've recorded this is the seventh episode I've recorded since I've had access to the full game. Pretty sure I've, uh, I, like, six out of seven of those are over an hour long. It's kind of crazy. Just enjoying myself a lot. Anyway, until next time, have a good day and goodbye.